Oh, Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today actually marks the start of December, December Double Uploads Yes, that's right. I'll be uploading two videos a week for the whole of December So, you know make sure you subscribe turn on notifications all that kind of other fun stuff that Creators keep telling you to do, but no one bothers doing anyway. Because we all get sick of hearing it, don't we? I'm also not going to force you. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's your choice. Your life, your choice. And to start off December double uploads, I was actually scrolling through Amazon. And I think I was looking for like little craft kits or just something to do. Something interesting. And I came across this floating ink kit thing and it looked very interesting very intriguing very weird and something i've never seen before i'm pretty sure this is kind of like a kid's toy but it also could be a proper dedicated art material i'm not sure but it looked super interesting and i wanted to try it out i wanted to see if floating ink was an actual real thing or whether it was just a complete load of crap and i have a feeling it's going to be a load of crap i just have a very strong feeling it's going to be a load of crap but I'll try it so you don't have to. Okay, so these are the pens that I bought. And it's called... <gasps> 15 pieces, colourful doodle drawn, pens, water, paint and pen eraser, and whiteboard marker, doodle, water, floating pens with blue, whiteboard eraser and ceramic spoon. <laughs> and that title makes absolutely no sense. It's just a bunch of words thrown together. And these are actually unavailable now. I must have bought the last one. But I think they cost me about $12.99. And looking at the pictures, it looks as if they're a bunch of colourful pens that you draw onto a ceramic spoon for some reason. And then just dip it into water and the ink comes off. It says, prepare a dry and clean porcelain spoon. Draw a cute pattern on the spoon and wait a few seconds. Slowly place in the water so that the top of your design touches the water first. The pattern on the spoon floats in the water. And then what do you do? What do you do with it? Do you just look at it and admire the floating ink? Apparently it's a perfect writing pal. It floats automatically in water and it's easily erased. And there's some kids staring at it, which you can clearly tell is completely photoshopped. The pens, the spoon, and that bowl of water is completely photoshopped into that picture. So this is why I feel like this might potentially be a load of crap. And then for some reason you've got someone using it on like a whiteboard and then you've got them just using pens normally. But I thought the whole point of it was that the ink floats on the water but they're now marketing it as the normal pens as well and you can do normal pen things with them. So that's why I'm just a bit suspicious. I'm also just looking at a few of the bullet points in the description of this product. And obviously I think this company who's selling this product, obviously English isn't their first language. So I'm, I'm gonna try and not take the piss out of them too much. But one of the bullet points is interaction painting tool. These pens will arouse people's curiosity. You can participate in painting and experience the fun of handicrafts with your family members. They are also interesting projects on birthday party and painting themed party. I try to be nice and I try not to take the piss out of things, but I just, it's just not in my nature to be nice. So further down in this product as well, they have some more images and it's showing you pictures of them like floating the ink onto the water. But then it's also showing people just using the pens normally but it also doesn't show what you're supposed to do with the ink that's on the water like what is the point is it kind of like a dipping thing where you dip some paper into the water and then the ink transfers onto it it, it it doesn't say what the point of it is i don't understand i'm gonna see if there's any reviews okay so i can only see one review and that's from samantha and they gave it one star and said overpriced dry markers they are okay but not brilliant and overpriced for whiteboard markers so i've just spent 12.99 on a pack of whiteboard markers i don't think whiteboard markers are that expensive i might have been ripped off today you had three heart operations you suffered two cardiac arrests, you died mm -hmm. twice on the operating table, mm -hmm. you had a stroke, mm -hmm. and you were diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour and given four months to live. Correct. Okay, so the products arrived, and before I show you it, I was kind of expecting, because obviously this is marketed towards kids, that it was going to be in like a, I don't know, like a fun, playful, fancy packaging, very well presented, something that you want to get your hands on. And I'm going to show you how it's arrived. <laughs> 
just like this in a very plain, boring, just brown box. I've paid $12.99 for this and it's it's arrived like the, I think I've just bought a pack of 12 whiteboard markers that have just come in just a plain, just regular box. I'm kind of annoyed, you know, and this is why I think it's going to be crap because, well, just look at it. Like, there's no effort being put in at all, has there? Anyway, let's open it up, see what's in this little box. All right, so we have a spoon, a couple of dry erase board markers, and a pack of incredibly small pens. They're not even like chunky or thick or anything, they're tiny. For some reason, I just love like shitting money away, don't I? $12.99 on this. I don't think. Honestly, I would expect to pay about £4, four fifty tops. This better work. It doesn't come with any instructions or anything. And they literally are just whiteboard markers. They're just dry erase markers. Also, on the pens, they don't actually say anything about floating the ink or the pens being specifically designed for ink floating. So I think they've literally just figured out that this ink can float on water, even on its not like intended to or designed for that, marketed as a water floating ink, but in reality they're just dry erase markers. I'm so angry. Anyway, I've got some water, let's try this out. You know what, I'm gonna stick a bit of paper underneath so you can actually see what's happening. So apparently I draw my design onto this spoon and then let it dry and then it's supposed to float into the water. I don't know, I honestly, I do not see this working at all. Right, let's draw a nice little flower. Okay, so that's what I've drawn. I've drawn a lovely, gorgeous purple flower. So it said, wait a few seconds. I've already waited a few seconds. Play slowly so that the top of the design touches the water first. Then the pattern on the spoon floats in the water. All right, so it should work now. Hey, right, let's try this out. Oh my God, it is actually gonna work. Are you shitting us? Okay, it has worked. I've got a floating flower. I'm kind of shocked. So there it is floating away. It's definitely on the water. But then what are you supposed to do with it? Are you supposed to just enjoy watching the flower float around? I don't know. I'm just gonna see if, let me cut a bit of paper out. Hang on. Because I wanna understand the purpose of it. This can't be everything. It can't be just draw some designs, float it on the water and then that's it. What happens if I just put my paper down? All right, it went on the paper. Then I could just draw it on the paper, couldn't I? Why do this for? Because it's so much fun, Chan! It didn't say I should do this, but I've done it and it works. It's transferred onto the paper. It's not awful. But I just, I also don't see the point in it. I've just had a little bit of an idea of what I could actually do to make this exciting. So what happens if I get all the colors and I do like a squiggly pattern, almost confetti shapes, and then if I float them in the water, I might be able to create like a really interesting pattern or something. I'm just trying to, I don't know, figure out some sort of logic as to why these exist. Right, so if we float all these little squiggles on, That one hasn't come off. The black one hasn't come off at all. I don't think this idea is gonna work at all. You won't be able to see that, but I've got some just random bits of color floating on top of this water. I'll try adding more and see if I can build something up and see if anything actually happens. Also, I don't know whether you can tell, but my hair is kind of this side instead of that side. So it looks a bit crazy. But the only reason for that is because I've got a massive spot on my forehead and I thought I would try and hide it with my hair. And honestly, I kind of like my hair like this. I don't know, it looks a bit different, doesn't it? I might keep it like this. I just thought I'd let you all know that there's a spot hiding underneath this fringe. This isn't working as well as I wanted it to work. If I get enough of them though, it might look really cool. Huge emphasis on might, by the way. Well, that one didn't even float. That one sunk to the bottom and stuck to the dish. I think this is a ridiculous way of doing anything. What I'm basically trying to do here is float loads of bits of ink and then I'm going to print it off. But why do that? Why not just draw it onto the paper? It would be so much quicker and so much easier. I'm going to dip these and see if it actually looks like anything or looks interesting. Let's see what happens. So I've got a bit of wet paper with just some little bits of little, little squiggles on it. I don't know. What is the point of it? What, like, why? Because, like, if you wanted to create a pattern, all you could do is just use your pens. 
and just draw, draw it on. They're actually not too bad. These pens aren't too bad on the raw one. But the whole floating thing, that's where it, it, it just, it all falls apart. I don't know, I feel like I've paid $12.99 for some all right whiteboard pens, but I just, I just think I've been ripped off basically. I've been sold a dream of floating ink. Well, I suppose the dream's a reality because it did work, but but the reality was just shit. <laughs> I suppose that does it for trying floating ink markers. And the thing is, they work, work absolutely fine, but I just don't really Really see the point of it and I don't understand why I've spent $12.99 for a pack of pens and a ceramic spoon and a couple of little erasers and also other than the kind of transfer technique that I tried there and watching the ink float around on the water I don't understand what else you're supposed to do with it like what's it for it's not a toy it can't be a toy it's marketed towards kids what kids are gonna draw onto a spoon float the ink into the water and then just watch it float around and be really really amused are they gonna be like <laughs> Floating ink. No. They're gonna be like, Man, I'm bored shitless. Why did you buy this shit toy for? But let me know if I'm missing something and you can think of a really, really interesting idea for floating ink. Because I, I can't think of anything else. But if you enjoyed the fact that I wasted my money so you don't have to, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you come across any kind of kids toys, like arty toys, then feel free to let us know in the comments. And I'll try them out. I'll get them and I'll try them out. And I'll tell you if they're shit as well. But I'll see you next week for the continuation of December Double Uploads. And hopefully I'll be doing something a little bit more interesting than floating some ink on water and not really doing a lot with it. I suppose at least I've got a bunch of pens. You can never have too many pens but <sighs> what a waste of a day. You can probably see my tits through this shirt. Like look at this thin material, like my boobs. I just like completely unsure. I've just realized it as I've stood up there. You can see all the curves and swerves. Oh my God. Oh.